So, uh, and you, you, were, you actually mentioned your son. And uh, so you, you, have, you have, you know, a few kids um, and they're all adult age or yes. close to adult age. Um, did you ever feel like you had to sit down with your kids and say, all right, kids, because we are black, this is 100%. what you should, this is what you should expect in society. Did you ever feel like, yeah, percent, hundred percent. Really? T- tell me about that. Well, I mean, I, I can't say when I was white, I saw it differently. Right. But I knew as a cop, I know, Hey, we, we, we believe because of what the little we see that, that black people are aggressive, they're faster and stronger. So you, 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 you kind of respond differently. So we, I tell my kids, Hey, you get pulled over. I don't care what the cop says. I don't care if he, I don't care if he calls you the N word. If I don't care if he tells you I'm here to rob you, you say, Hey, whatever you need, I'm, I'm, I'm here to cooperate. Mm-hmm. You record everything you remember. Right. And then you live to fight another day. Tomorrow morning when you wake up, you take your facts down to his to the to, to the department, you report it. You can't beat him. You cannot beat an officer on a scene. Mm. And 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 that's what I'm seeing today. People are trying to beat the officer on the scene. Mm. They're trying to beat I'm back and beat you. No, what you just said to me, no, that's wrong. I'm gonna fight. Then it gets out of control. You know? Yeah. I mean, we have, we had to look at cameras ourselves, you know. Police work cameras, <laughs> a citizen. Yeah, put your little camera on. And then just go back and go, and don't go, I got you on camera. Cause that's going to make him react. Right. Right. Go right. Back. Yes, sir. What yes. should I say here? Yes, sir. Mm. I, I, you know, like I, I almost want to share a story with you that I probably shouldn't, but I will. Please. I hope you can edit and delete this one. No, but, no, no, but, please. But, but I had a friend call me up, uh, a relative call me up and uh, say, Hey, I had a situation here with the DWI, you know, is there anything you can do to help me? I was like, well, no, but, but let me come and get your car and, you know, save your hundred bucks on the tow fee and, you know, all this good stuff, right? So I, I, go, I go to the scene and drive out, uh, identify myself and say to the officer, hey, I'm just here to help to my family member. Mm. Um, I just want to, you know, my wife and I are together. We'll take the car home. Mm-hmm. You guys, As a matter of fact, he's already gone. You already got him. And the officer, the officer said no. No, you're not taking the car. I'm, I'm telling it. What? Yeah, and, I, and, I, and I'm trying to rationalize with him. I'm like, hey, why? Yeah. I, you know, let, let us take the car home. And no. I said, okay. Let me speak to the lieutenant. Let me speak to a supervisor if I could. Mm-hmm. I kid you not. This officer, it's a white officer. Yeah. I don't need backup. I got a hostile. I kid you not. What? So, so I, I, I heard it and I thought, oh, you don't think I heard that? So when the supervisor pulled up, mm. I was already seated. I was sitting on the curb waiting, mm-hmm. just waiting. The supervisor pulled up. See, it's experience though. Experience taught me this, right? Now I'm, the other, I'm on the other side now. Yeah. Okay. I'm on the other side. Supervisor comes, walks up, goes to the officer first. Now, I know that if it wasn't me, I would have ran to the supervisor and said, I'm the one who called for you. Mm-hmm. Hey, talk to me first. Mm-hmm. That would have appeared to have been hostile. Yeah. So I waited my turn. <laughs> and I'm, I'm picturing the supervisor going, so where, where's the hostile guy? Oh, he's the big quiet guy sitting over in the corner, right? <laughs> Lieutenant walks over. <laughs> Lieutenant walks over. I, I shake his hand. Yeah. I shake his hand. Yeah. I tell them my experience. I'm not asking for professional courtesy. Mm. I, I, I tell them who I am, tell them where I'm retired from. Mm-hmm. And I, I explain, I says, hey, the owner of the vehicle is here. The driver's gone. I'll drive that car home because the owner is giving me the permission. Mm-hmm. Didn't take the supervisor, who's also white. Didn't take him, a, didn't take him 30 seconds to say, he looked right at the office and said, why can't he take her car home? Yeah. Where, where are the keys? Took the keys from the officer and handed them right to me and said, sorry, have a good night. That cop gets in the car, speeds off, ticket booked on top of the car, goes flying away. <laughs> wow. If I wasn't 
prepared to deal with that, mm. the results would have been different. I would have responded differently. I would have been upset because I knew I was right. Yeah. So I, I was able to teach myself how to respond at that moment. But I can tell you now, nobody else would have. They would have said, you're making a really bad mistake, cop, and would have been upset and upset and would have verbalized how upset they were. And yeah. then the coward says, this guy's disorderly. This guy's, mm -hmm. you know, he's in my face. He's aggressive. Mm -hmm. But who was right and who was wrong? Yeah. So, so what I teach my kids, back to the original topic, is, is you got to humble yourself. Mm. you got to humble yourself and fight another day. And my time there was not to fight right there for those keys, was to, to speak to the supervisor when he gets here. And I'm not going to be this irate person that you just told him I was on the air. Yeah. All the police cars came around. I was like, back off? This is funny. <laughs> but that's, you know, that's, yeah. that's training that that officer that I hope he got. You know, that's what I said to the supervisor. He says, I said, hey, I have no complaints. I just watch his camera. You just review his, his video of our encounter and then respond the way you guys like to you know, talk to him the way. I, I don't need to follow up. And I, I don't know whatever happened, but I can assure you he went back and said, let me watch this. Why are you talking to the citizen like this? Right. You're lucky the citizen didn't get upset because that's what we do. Honestly, that's what we do. We get upset. Mm. You just respected me. That's something that we all should learn about black people. Mm. Don't mess with my children. Yep. And don't disrespect me. Yeah. And that goes back. It goes back to, to slavery and being free. And then mm. so you know, now we are able to get respect. And don't disrespect me. Don't call me boy. You know. Mm. It it all comes back, comes forward to today. Mm -hmm. When I walked up to them, just don't disrespect me. And often we are disrespecting our citizens. And that's why black people, wow. it's a lot, it's, it's a lot to it, right? Eh? That's amazing.